25th. Uh, remember, this is also timeless, meaning whenever you get to see it, it will be the right time for you. Anywhere that you have Virgo in your chart, this is your reading. So I just want to say that in the next couple of weeks and months coming in, I will be doing weeklies, monthlies, and all signs. So you will be receiving more videos from me. So let me know, Virgo, how long you've been here. Okay, Virgos are in the house. How long you've been here watching me or following me? And where are you from? And, you know, tell me what's happening. Are you, uh, what's going on in your life? You know, share. Okay, because sometimes by sharing your stories, you can be helping another person in the comments below. So uh, in the reading, we're going to look at your recent past. We're going to look at your current energy and the immediate future. And then I will clarify the cards for you. And at the end, I will uh, see what the universe wants to tell you. So let's get started. Virgo. It's at four times. Okay. Let's see, Virgo. What's happening for you? The recent past, you got uh, four of wands reversed, the ten of pentacles reversed, and the five of swords reversed. With the two of swords. In the current energy, let me see, are my cards? Okay, I took the cards the wrong way, or what? Yep, okay. <laughs> Four of Wands reversed, the Ten of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. Okay, that's your <laughs> my bad. The cards were upside down. Okay. And uh, there, was a, there was a decision that you had to make here with this Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. Some cards will be reversed, but uh, not, not so many of them. Okay, let's look at the current energy, Virgo. That's a lot. Okay. In the current energy, energy, you got the eight of wands, the ten of wands, and the seven of wands reversed. You pulled out your own reading, which <laughs> doesn't surprise me. In the immediate future, the ace of pentacles, the five of wands and what you're not seeing, the page of swords, and the queen of swords. Wow. That was fast. Lovers reversed. King of clubs reversed. The devil reversed. Okay, there's a decision of for sure. Okay, in the current, uh, in the overall, you got the Queen of Swords. So you're thinking logically about something here. Okay, you're in your mind about it. In the recent past, you got the Four of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. Yes, there was uh, there was something here in terms of home, work, or some type of uh, long term situation here, or um, you know where uh, there was interference because with the Five of Swords, it shows up that there was something here. Maybe uh, you and yourself were sabotaging something, or uh, the energies around you of people or situations around you that they could have been like, um, you know, someone not playing by the rules. Let's put it this way, you know, in types of communication here. So something took place here. Yeah. Yeah. In the, in the current energy, you got the eight of wands, the 10 of wands, the seven of wands reversed. You're feeling overwhelmed. At this time, maybe you're very busy, okay? There could be things coming into alignment. You're very busy. That's coming up here, you know? There's an energy of moving quickly here. And uh, you're tired. You're, 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 you're extremely tired with the Ten of Wands, okay? Like, this has been a, it's been a long journey. You feel overwhelmed with all the energies around you at this time, and especially maybe Venus being in Leo. That triggered that and the full moon that we had in the, the full moon, strawberry moon in Sagittarius. But there's an ending here, a completion, all right? In the immediate future, you've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Page of Swords. There's some type of communication coming in here, okay? And there's something something tangible. It could be money, it could be a gift. Something here is coming in, but there could be conflict around it. There, be, there could be drama around the situation, all right? So we're going to have to clarify the cards and see what else is happening for you. Let's look at this Queen of Swords. You're thinking logically here about something. Okay. Queen of Swords. 
Why is the Queen of Swords there for Virgo? Five of Cups. King of Wands reversed. Lovers reversed. Four of Wands. This has to do with uh, your stability or your home. Okay, or there was something here. There's a lot of pain here of releasing something. Okay, you're releasing something. There's a, an energy around you, or this could be you, you, that you're not taking action at this time. Okay, because of the decision that was already done. This, this is like, I feel like it's past tense in this situation here. Okay, that, that or whatever this uh, lover's reverse means for you. Okay, but definitely here, someone is not taking action because someone here is still releasing the resentment, the hurt, the guilt. There's a lot of guilt here. And someone is also, someone here is, is, uh, they're talking, they're giving me an Italian word, but I go, no, I'm not going to use Italian because they don't, um, someone is obsessed with the three cups that fell. Okay. And looking at this, like at the, something that took place here in the three of cups. All right. And it's not looking at the, the two cups behind them that are still standing. Uh, so it's about finding the silver alignment here and a lot of you are at this time are thinking logically about this Okay, let's look at the recent past. Let's look at this four of wands here For some of you this could be inheritance or some type of legacy It's about buying a home or an estate or whatever that was long term here, you know that stability, you know uh, and happiness and a lot of celebration in the home. So we're going to see what is four of wands. The moon, the magician reversed two of swords. Yeah, there was a decision to be made here. I feel that you were very overwhelmed in the recent past too, okay? Um, yes, you were going through tests here. You are definitely, you were going through tests, 100%. But something is was not what it seemed. There was a lot of fear-based energy around this situation, whatever the stability means for you, because I don't know your situation. Okay, and there could have been manipulation as well. All right. And uh, you were sitting on the fence about this for a very long time. There was a decision that had to be made here. Let's look at the Ten of Pentacles. And the thing is that you can't think logically about these things. You have to go within to get your answer. Let's look at the Ten of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords. The Six of Wands. Ten of Cups. There, it, it, there was a wish fulfillment here with this Ten of Pentacles. Okay, uh, This could be you in terms of uh, your money or uh, your prosperity, uh, you know, success, uh, uh, you know, uh, in energy, very stable here, uh, very logically uh, thinking about this Ten of Pentacles, like you're going through this, okay? So you're focused on this Ten of Pentacles, whatever this means for you long term. And there is success and victory in this, okay? And it was it was definitely a wish fulfillment because it appeared twice, the Ten of Pentacles. You're trying to bring something into balance here. So a lot of you are focused on, we're focused mostly on your uh, maybe uh, finances here in a situation and thinking logically. But it, came, it comes in with a reward here, okay? So let's see why this... Uh, well, before we move on, let me just uh, clarify something. I just want to do something here. Let's, uh, just give me an extra card here with this uh, Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Is, is there anything else I should know here? King of Cups reversed. Lovers reversed. Yeah. I don't know if it was a pattern that you were dealing with, uh, patterns that you were dealing with in the recent past or situations or people around you, if people that you were dealing with that, um, like I feel like if someone, let's say, I don't know, okay, this could be about your prosperity. Yes, it could be 100%. But what I'm picking up here also is that something here, someone here was not emotionally available. You know, the emotions weren't there. The, the passion was there. The intellect was there. The stability was there. But not through the emotions. And something here was not what it seemed. So there could have been deception, okay, around the situation. And someone did rent, like, a decision. And I feel like that in the physical, it wasn't there. Like, physically, 
at, at this time, whatever this thing was, if it was not physically there, but spiritually there, maybe for some of you. If not, just this means that whatever this offer that was coming in, it wasn't a great offer in what, in what it seemed to be a great offer. You understand? Okay, because the patience was uh, patience here. Uh, patience was needed in the situation. Communication was the key here. All right. I just wanted to clarify. Someone here was not emotionally available. Okay. So let's look at this five of swords that you have to deal with. Seven of Pentacles reversed. The Four of Wands, uh, Pentacles, sorry, and Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, someone removed their energy from something. The Strength reversed. Couldn't, someone here couldn't, they didn't have the strength and courage here. Okay, and so, some type of clarity came in. Some of you were not following your intuition in the recent past in what showed up for you. It was. It felt like your heart and your mind was telling you to think two different things. Someone here was holding back could be a pattern also a situation person could be anything here and someone did remove their uh, did remove their energy from that completely there was i feel that there was triumph over this okay so let's look at the current energy with the eight of wands two of cups reversed seven of swords queen of pentacles five of swords The truth, some type of truth is going to come in in the current energy here with this two of cups reversed here. Someone here has been nurturing themselves. This could be you in energy. You're very stable here, <clears throat> but boundaries have to be put up. Boundaries, okay? The truth will be told in a two of cups reversed that came in, okay? That some, like whoever this is that couldn't, uh, um, that you know, even though there's messages coming in, there will be messages, the truth will be told here, period. Okay? There could be self-sabotage, 100%. Or, there could also be someone that's not playing by the rules, but the truth will be revealed here, and why this uh, situation is not working out. Even though their messages are coming in, and things are coming into alignment, there could be trust issues here, major trust issues. Let's look at this Ten of Wands. Seven of Cups reversed, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. You're trying, <clears throat> there's no, this Ten of Wands comes in with the Ten of Pentacles, so there's new beginnings here for sure. There's completion here. You're not going to feel confused any longer. You're trying to bring something into balance. <clears throat> and this is the Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> this could be a legacy, inheritance, through the life here. Whatever this is, long term. And it's in divine timing. But you have to keep the faith. And boundaries have to be put up. Boundaries, yes. Some of you are, de some of you are dealing with energies that are really wild. Okay, <clears throat> there could be an ending in the situation. Definitely. And a transformation. But it... There is positive news with the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. And whatever it is that you've been having trouble with, something is coming in with the Ten of Pentacles. So there could be some money coming in here for you or something long-term here for you, all right? Let's look at the Seven of Wands reversed. Why is the Seven of Wands reversed here? You're feeling overwhelmed. You're feeling overwhelmed. You have to find a Zen place, maybe go into the country, go walk in the woods or near a river. Anywhere that you could like find your own sanctuary, you need it, Virgo, in the current energy. You got the world reversed, the three of cups reversed, and the six of swords with the nine of wands. You want to take action towards something here. Definitely you do. But you're feeling overwhelmed. This could be something of the past, someone of the past, okay? Where it could be about uh, just uh, anything here. Um, but there's there's closure. There, there, the world has, to, something has to close out, right? And I do see that you are going to be moving away from this type of energy. Whatever it is that you have to go through, you're moving away from this. 100%. Okay, there could be a change of residency, but some of you want to just like, you're feeling restless here. And you want, the tower, the tower is going to come in, okay? The tower is going to come in for you to surrender to something. 
um, because you're gonna gain the clarity that you want here, okay? And you're gonna go to better times. There's gonna be resolution and peace. And some of you might be traveling as well or traveling, yeah, traveling 100% or relocating or moving as well. I do see that. Let's look at the Ace of Pentacles in the immediate future. Let's see a gift, money or something coming in, a blessing, something new. Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands, Nine of Cups. Yeah, it's about following your heart. There could be an arrival of someone. Uh, it could be love, of course. You know, It's about following your heart. There could be an invitation. Messages are going to come in very quickly. Things are going to get into alignment here. And it's a new start that's taking place with the Ace of Wands. And a lot of you are going through this right now on the collective as well. So the Ace of Wands is about passion for love, for life. There could be chemistry. There could be something creative that you're working on. Whatever it is. It's also the same time is that, um, you know, uh, there's a new beginning that's going to take here, place for you. With the Ten of Swords and Energy, it's an ending that's taking place. Something that at the end, a dead end in a situation here. And there is light at the end of the tunnel. Let's look at this Five of Wands here and what you're not seeing. So there's still conflict here within you, around you, drama. Competition, whatever it is here. The Hangman, Reverse, the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Wands. The Tower is coming in to change something. It's going to bring you clarity that you need. You're going to surrender to this after a time of being stagnant in a situation that was forever going. And you're going to take action here. Okay, because the Tower is coming in to bring you change. Let's look at the Page of Swords. There will be some type of communication. Or this is about your ideas, creative ideas coming through, right? Or you're going to have some type of communication, some online communication coming in. Let's look at this page of swords. You've got the devil, the nine of swords reversed, the seven of wands reversed, the four of wands. Someone here wants stability with you. But whoever this is, there's a close out. Something has to close out and something has to come in you. You know, you could be dealing with someone here that has patterns that haven't been healed completely yet okay or you're dealing with someone that's really obsessed with you or it could be someone here that uh, it could be many things here okay and you're feeling overwhelmed about this you're not worried about the situation but you're feeling or whatever whenever this message comes through it's someone here or something here that the world is still that's something that is not finished yet but you did remove your energy but it's still not done yet okay still not done give me another card here Give me another card for the devil, please. Be careful who you're playing with. Or be careful who you have. You have the emperor with the devil. It's not really good. That's someone that's very narcissistic and controlling here, okay? Um, there's an ending that's taking place. There's an ending. Something has to end. I don't know what has to end, but there's something that has to end. In a pattern, maybe. Um, in um, patterns, some type of pattern that keeps coming up here. It could be uh, uh, some type of addiction. It could be a person. It could be the people that you're dealing with. I don't know. But something has to end here. Because there, there's no future with this person. I don't see a future. Okay? I don't. All of you lost hope in the situation. So there's an ending that has to take place here. And while your ending takes place, right? Because the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, some of the thing is trying to come through here with the Six of Swords. They want you to close this chapter in your life. You've got the Page of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Pen and the Ace of Cups. You've got three aces. You got actually four aces. Eleven eleven is here for you. Something is coming in divine timing. You're feeling it. Okay, there's positive news around this. It's a wish fulfillment and it's about abundance. It's about vitality, feeling great. It could be about someone new, right? Something new. Someone new could be celebrations around you, but that's what has to take place. All right. So now let's look at what the universe wants to tell you, Virgo. I already shuffled the cards. Just remembered. What does the universe want to tell you? King of Cups reversed, the Hermit, there you are, the Seven of Wands, 
Eight of Cups. You're going to overcome the situation, okay? You're going to, with the Seven of Wands, it shows me here that you are going to overcome it, okay? Uh, all, whatever these obstacles were. Uh, you're taking time out to heal, okay, to bring yourself back into balance, or you're dealing with someone that was not in balance, that was not emotionally imbalanced here. Whatever the case is, it's about you continuing your journey here, right? Definitely. And for some of you out there, yes, the Page of Swords, right? That you maybe you want some type of communication because you have the, uh, the world reversed here. Someone might be coming back here. Definitely. Okay. Definitely coming back. There's someone coming back because there's unfinished business here because of a decision that was made. But there's a lot of like frustration here in the situation. You feel burdened. Something did not come into fruition. So. I hope that you enjoyed your reading, Virgo. I hope it helped in any way. I hope it helped you. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, uh, like uh, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye.